Hello, you are watching the Star News Update. I'm Grace Lu. The government Tuesday unveiled its second economic stimulus package, totaling 60 billion ringgit. Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak, when tabling the package in the Dewan Rakyat, said it would be implemented over two years 2009 and 2010. He says the stimulus package has four thrusts. They are reducing unemployment and increasing employment opportunities easing the burden of the people, in particular the vulnerable groups, assisting the private sector in facing the crisis, and building capacity for the future. For more updates on the stimulus package, please check the staronline.tv. More than 92% of the 53,000 candidates who sat for the Sijil Tinggi Persekolahan Malaysia examinations last year opted to answer the science and mathematics papers in English. Malaysian Examinations Council Chairman Professor Tan Sri Zulkifli Abdul Razak says this is an increase of 0.8% compared to the previous year. Saya rasa pelajar-pelajar yang menjawab soalan dalam bahasa Inggeris adalah mungkin rasa lebih selesa dalam menjawab dalam bahasa Inggeris. Ya. Uh, dalam peperiksaan selalunya pelajar-pelajar tidak mengambil risiko. Kalau mereka tidak selesa, mereka tidak akan menjawab dalam bahasa Inggeris. So, kita boleh anggarkan and I'm, I'm quite confident that the students are more comf- comfortable uh, in answering ke bahasa Inggeris. He said this when announcing the STPM 2008 results Tuesday. Professor Zukifi says in terms of candidates' overall performance, the urban candidates perform better than their rural counterparts. He says 10.09% of the urban candidates obtained between 3 to 5 A's as compared to 6.77% in the rural areas. A total of 13 candidates obtained A's in all five subjects taken last year, compared to 25 in 2007. Home Minister Tato Sri Syed Hamid Alba said Tuesday that all entry visas for Bangladeshi workers approved in 2007 and who had not entered the country have been cancelled. He says the move was in line with the government's decision to not accept any new applications. He says this is due to the current scenario in the country and that there is no need for foreign labour, except for certain sectors identified by the government. With the move, Syed Hamid says the government will refund workers' levies paid by employers. The Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court has transferred opposition leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim's sodomy trial to the High Court with immediate effect. Sessions Court Judge Zuzana Ali Yusuf authorised the transfer despite objections from Anwar's lawyers. Speaking to reporters after the transfer, Anwar says that his priority right now is the three by-elections. Anwar's trial will be heard by High Court Justice Muhammad Zaibedin Muhammad Dia, who has set hearing for July 1st to 24th this year. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Grace Lu. Thanks for watching.